In this video, I'm going to show you how to reconcile your accounts at the end of each month in Zoho Books. Hey everyone, my name is Stephanie Smith and I'm a Zoho Finance Partner at AIO Bookkeeping. At AIO Bookkeeping, we help business owners do business better by getting their bookkeeping in order and reconnecting them with their business finances. Thanks for joining us on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Now let's dive in. At the end of every month, you'll want to reconcile your bank and credit card accounts in Zoho Books. What this does is it makes sure that what's in Zoho actually matches what's in your bank. Um, this is very important because there are many times when you might enter some duplicate transactions or the system does weird things like not all of your transactions come over on your bank feed and you'll just want to make sure that everything is accounted for. So when you're ready to reconcile and you've you've went ahead and you've categorized your transactions for a given month, you'll from your bank banking um, feed, there's a cog wheel up here. You'll click on that and then you'll click the reconcile account option. Make sure that you have your bank statement in hand because this will give you the dates that you need. It'll give you the amounts that you need. Um, and just note that not every account will be the first of the month to the end of the month. A lot of the times credit card, credit card accounts, um, their statements are start in the middle of the month to the next of the following month. So to get started, you'll click this Reconcile Now button, and you'll wanna enter the start and end dates on your statement. So for me, I'm actually going back to January 1st of 2022, and the end date on my statement is actually the end of January. So this is one full month, January 31st, 2022, and the closing balance is what's, what's the closing balance on your statement? So my closing balance is $86,616.91. You'll enter that there and then you'll click this start reconciliation button. Um, what you'll notice is that the system will list out all of the um, transactions for the, the dates that you have selected. So I have all these transactions here and then there's check boxes over on the side for which items you're actually reconciling. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll be able to see what the closing balance is, what the cleared amount is. This is what's the sum of all the things you've selected and then what what the difference is so the goal is to have a difference of zero every single time um, so if i scroll up one thing that i would recommend if you're new to this is unchecking all of the boxes and going through your bank statement line item by line item and saying okay do i have this expense for 677 dollars yes do i have a withdrawal or a deposit for 291 dollars and 64 cents yes and just go through your your statement line item by line item to save time for the sake of um, saving time for this video i'm going to select everything that's in here um, though you'll notice that my difference is twenty five hundred dollars it looks like I have a rent expense down here for $2,500. Sometimes you might not actually select everything that's on your list. Suppose I sent, I wrote a check and I put in this expense that I wrote a check for $2,500. Well, the, the check's not going to clear the bank on the same day that I wrote it. So it's possible that this $2,500 will go on the next statement when the check actually gets cashed. And then when I reconcile the next month, you'll see that show up here. So there's some nuances to keep in mind as you're reconciling. But the goal, again, is to make sure that the difference here is zero. So you can see after I made my selections that my difference is zero. Another thing that you can check on your statements is that your deposit amounts and your withdrawal amounts match those amounts on your bank statement. Typically, the bank statements will give you a sum of the withdrawals and a sum of the deposits. So that's another easy check. And then one other recommendation I have is to go ahead and upload your bank statement here um, where it says upload file. And then what this will do is if you ever need to refer back to this later, your bank statement's in the system uh, and you don't have to go searching for it or ask your bank for it later. When you're ready and you're done, you would just click this reconcile button and that will save it. And now you'll see the reconcile, reconcile date. Um, the period and the closing balance and the status. And now if there were um, any attachments, you would be able to see that as well. And that's it. That's how you reconcile your accounts in Zoho Books. Thanks for watching.